Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna be helping you guys to troubleshoot missing fonts in Word on Mac. This video was specifically requested by one of our viewers and we invite you to request your own video topic ideas if there's something that you wanna see. Before we jump into the video, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put those links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right guys, so we're gonna start with the operating system and checking to make sure that the fonts are valid that way first. And then we're gonna try some troubleshooting tips directly within Word. And so hopefully by applying both of these, whatever issues you're having with certain fonts will be fully resolved. First, I'm gonna go into the spotlight search and I'm gonna type font book. We're gonna open that up. This is where all of our installed computer fonts are going to be kept. We're gonna find our desired fonts and we're just gonna check them. So if I click on this font right here, or let's say like click on this one, I'm going to double click in here. We don't see any warning signs or anything being grayed out or anything like that, which is a good indication that the font is correctly installed. If you see any issues, or for example, let's say I want Bayoli SC, this font right here, see how it's grayed out. So I actually have to download this and you can do that directly in the font book app. Once it's downloaded, it will now appear as regular. And again, I don't see any warning signs or any issues within the application. You can always search for specific fonts that you're trying to find here. For example, I'm gonna search for railway. I can see it here and it is correctly installed. If you are encountering some kind of issue with a font, for example, let's pretend railway is problematic. I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna press remove. We're gonna remove fonts and I'm now going to proceed with reinstalling that same font. I'm gonna to go to fonts.google.com Feel free to go to this website or a similar reputable website that offers fonts for downloads. I'm gonna search for railway. Here we can see the railway font. I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna click get font and I'm gonna click download all. This is gonna download the .zip file which contains the font itself and it'll have the installation file. Here we can see both an italic and a regular version. We're gonna install the regular version. I'm just gonna double click the .ttf file. I can select which variation I want to install and I'll click install. Now back in my fonts, I'm gonna go search railway again. And here we can see we have the railway font downloaded and it actually downloaded all of the variations. This happens automatically. And again, we're verifying that this font is correctly working inside of our system. Okay, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and hop into Word and let's try some troubleshooting in there. Okay, so I'm in Microsoft Word now. And as we can see, we can access our font from the home page. If we're having issues with the font after verifying that it's correctly installed on our Mac, here's what we can do next. I'm gonna minimize this and I'm gonna pull up my finder. I'm gonna hit go at the top here and while holding down option, let's click library. From here, click into the folder called caches. Here, we're gonna scroll down until we see com.microsoft.word. Now I actually don't have a cache file in here, but here's one as an example, com.microsoft.teams. If you have caches that have been created by the application, they're gonna be right here. It'll be com.microsoft.word. And basically you would just double click into the file, hit command A, right click and move to trash. And then you would empty your trash and that's how you clear those caches. After doing that, we would recommend restarting Word to ensure that any changes are reflected. And the last thing that we're gonna recommend here is to go to help and check for updates. Keeping your software up to date is, is always gonna make sure that bugs and issues like this are less likely to happen. As we can see, it's checking for updates and it's confirmed that we are already up to date. If you aren't, be sure to upgrade to the latest software and that includes on your Mac as well. To check for your Mac software update, go to system settings in the Apple menu. We're gonna to go to general and we'll click into software update. As we can see, I have a big update pending here, which is Mac OS Sequoia 15.0. I'm gonna upgrade this as soon as we finish recording this video. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about Word and font issues or anything else, drop those in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. We would love to know what videos you want to see. As we grow the channel, we are constantly looking for new video topic ideas to cover, and we invite you to comment down what videos you wanna see. A lot of our new videos come from viewer comment suggestions. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.